Well, hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, as you can tell behind me. But today we're talking about something incredibly special, especially to me, one of my favorite films of all time. We're talking about In Bruges. And not just any edition of In Bruges, I actually was able to recently pick up the Region B version of In Bruges, a special edition, limited edition box set from Second Sight Films. And I'm just so excited to share it with you today. So I've been a big fan of this normal uh, Blu-ray right here of In Bruges for so long. I've seen it about 15 to 20 times. I've shown it to a lot of people with a lot of mixed results. Not everybody loves this movie, um, but it's certainly one of those that speaks to me. It's a very melancholic, serious yet funny kind of story that really just relates to my type of humor and also my disposition. I absolutely love this movie. It's it's gorgeous, shot gorgeously. It's got an amazing score. It's got great actors in it. You got Colin Farrell who plays Ray. You have Brendan Gleeson who plays Ken, and then you also have Ray Fiennes who plays Harry, Harry Waters. And those three characters are always going to be legendary in my mind because I know who they are, I know their actions and their motivations, and a lot of it is certainly, some of it can be very surface level, but it's a lot of complexity. Uh, there's a lot of complexity involved with this, this movie, and it's just absolutely amazing um, to talk about this movie and I honestly I could gush about it enough. If you've been a fan of me for a long time you'll know that I've actually done a review of In Bruges a uh, long long time ago one of my first uh, reviews and one of my first videos on the channel I talked about this movie in fact over off camera I have the In Bruges poster off of, over there and so I'm super excited to talk to you today about Second Sight Films uh, this this amazing limited edition box set and it comes with this slip cover which I took off um, so I can read it to you um, a lot of the things that it comes with. So let me just tell you what this comes with. It comes with some special features and limited edition content in this box set. It's very sturdy and it's very, uh, it's kind of uh, wide as well. And so it'll fit nicely on my shelf or just, you know, display because it's got beautiful artwork. The special features uh, on the disc itself uh, has Six Shooter, Martin McDonough's Oscar winning short film in HD. And I remember watching Six Shooter, uh, you know, a few years after watching In Bruges. It's amazing. Um, thematically, it has very similar um, things involved with it, um, with um, maybe violence and the harsh realities of like the outcomes of what that looks like. Um, it's also really dark comedy involved too. It's really great if you haven't seen it. I believe it's also on YouTube. Um, but yeah, certainly check this out and get it uh, so you can watch it in HD. Uh, Shoot first, sight see later, a new interview with director of photography, uh, Igel Burled. And uh, yeah, the photography in this is just uh, immac immaculate. I love it. Find the Rhythm, a new interview with editor John Gregory. Finding Bruges, a new interview with production designer Michael Carlin. The Alcove Guy, <laughs> a new interview with actor Eric Godin. So if you uh, know this movie and you know about The Alcove Guy, you know that um, he talks a lot about nooks and crannies and such. Uh, when in Bruges and also Strange Bruges, those are interviews with cast and crew on set footage of both. Deleted scenes, a boat trip around Bruges, and a gag reel. So those are all the special features on the disc itself. And then in the limited edition box set, I'll show you this as well. I'll showcase the stuff that's inside it. You got a rigid slipcase featuring new artwork by Thomas Walker, all right here. I don't know how well my camera is picking that up, but it's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Um, a Faber and Faber screenplay with exclusive cover artwork by Thomas Walker. I'll show you that screenplay in a second. A 50 page soft cover book with new writing by Ian Christie, Dr. Eamon Jordan, the author of From Leanne to Le LA, The Theater and Cinema of Martin McDonough, and Bob Magazine archive interview with Martin McDonough himself, the director of the film. So let me just showcase some of the things involved in this amazing box set. So right here is just the normal Blu-ray. Um, you have the black slip case um, cover um, and uh, it's got that nice little UK logo that you can take off. That's the reason I actually took off this is because I could take off that artwork, that little red dot. You can see that this uh, limited edition box set doesn't have that uh, little red annoying UK um, warning labels about 18. You have that. You also have uh, the screenplay book right here, which shows you the tower uh, in the film uh, that they're at a lot. Uh, it's one of those uh, great sightseeing places. Uh, but if you open it up, um, you just see in Bruges. Um, you also just see the setting, the cast and characters, um, and all their lines. And it's just it's just great. Uh, you just see um, some of the great. <laughs> I just I got to a really great one right here. Um, let me just uh, give you a little bit of taste. Ray punches the guy clean in the jaw. He falls off his chair in an unconscious heap. Warning: There's going to be some language here. Ray says, "That's for John Lennon, you Yankee fucking cunt." 
Suddenly, his girlfriend swings the wine bottle at Ray's head. Ray dodges the bottle, missing him by a whisker. A bottle? The girlfriend tries to swing again. Don't, no, no, don't you bother. Ray hits her within the chin, too, and collapses besides the guy. The other diner, the diner diners and waiters are stunned into silence. Chloe returns from the bathroom, sees the two prone diners. Ray has a coat in his hand. We're leaving. Um, <laughs> it's just um, uh, one of the great scenes in this movie. Uh, there's so many great scenes in this movie. And yeah, like I said, pardon the language, but you know, this movie is just uh, chock full of dark comedy and it's just great. All right, and then right here are the essays um, from all the different uh, writers and also um, an interview of McDonough himself. So if we open it up, we have right there, we have Colin Farrell, that beautiful, beautiful man right there, um, just sulking. You have both Ray and Ken right there, Brendan Gleeson and Colin Farrell. Um, the two opposites, the two uh, opposing people who are in Bruges, the one who wants to see the sightseeing um, and have a good time there while they're on vacation. And then you have uh, Colin Farrell's character who's really depressed about what he did and wants to go back home, just lay low there. Um, yeah, so you have those two dynamics, which actually was a lot of the inspiration for McDonough when he went to Bruges himself. He saw all the beautiful architecture and medieval artwork here in, in, in Bruges itself and then was bored out of his wits. And so that, that, di that dynamic is just really incredible and that's kind of set the piece for this, the tone for the film. You also have Chloe and Ray right there, Colin Farrell. Uh, Clements uh, Poissy, who is a, uh, I believe, a French, uh, a French actress. Um, it could be wrong on that one. You'll have uh, Brendan Gleeson and Colin Farrell right there uh, on the playground. It's a really great scene. Then you have the first essay, A Season in Purgatory. Uh, Harry Waters, a.k.a. Ray Fiennes, right there by Ian. Uh, Ian Christie gives the first A Season in Purgatory, uh, the first film essay. He talks a lot about the thematics of the film itself, a lot of the themes of, of the film. There's Brendan Gleeson. Another one of Ray Fiennes right there. And then you have um, Trigger Warnings by Dr. Eamon Jordan right here. And so this film actually is, high, is a little bit offensive. It came out at, you know, 2007, 2008 era. Um, it's also, um, you know, it's very dry black humor, right? It's dark comedy. Um, the thing that um, Dr. Eamon talks about quite a bit is the themes of McDonough's plays really counteract as, uh, you know, showing those extremities, um, bringing them to light, kind of showing that Mark McDonough himself is not like this. In fact, if you've seen Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, you'll understand that that racism, that sexism, that extremism that exists in the world, um, that's not really a part of his own life. It's just a part of the characters that are trying to learn, or, I mean, honestly, they get a lot of the, their, they, a lot of their stuff, you know, thrown back at them and, and they get in trouble for doing all the things that they're doing. And that's kind of what it explains. And um, it's just, it's really great. And he also talks a lot about his uh, play works. Uh, Martin McDonough is a playwright um, originally. So he's in a lot of the theaters in, in Ireland and the UK. And he talks a lot about his background as well. Here's a picture of Brendan Gleeson with the alcove guy getting his gun. Um, then you have the, the final one right here. Uh, there is Martin McDonough by Fenton O'Toole, which is an interview in Bob Magazine and talks a lot about interviewing with um, Martin McDonough himself. And so, yeah, no, this is just wonderful. I'm, I'm absolutely um, floored by this release. I'm so happy to have this edition of this movie because like I said, I'm absolutely enamored and in love with this film. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm, I'm just happy to have one of the best versions out there of this movie. It, I would say this is the best version of this movie out there. Uh, so let me know. Have you seen In Bruges? Tell me down in the comment section down below. Um, do you enjoy it? Or do you not? Um, do you have any second sight films? Uh, do you have any recommendations for me? Because this is my first one. And so I'm excited to delve further into that. I want to say thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to give this uh, video a like. Don't forget to comment down below. Share this video. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.